Hey everyone, we're playing some more PAL World. So, last video, we set up a new base here on top of the mountain, which most of you should probably know by now. I think it's considered the best base location in the entire game, only because it is completely immune to raids. There's coal, and there's ore, which are by far the two most important things to farm. Things like stone and wood don't matter because, of course, you have the pits, the stone pit and the wood pit. You don't need to be near stone or wood. If anything, it's actually, it's bad if you are because you're taking away work that can be done somewhere else. But anyway, the only things you really need to collect in this game are going to be coal, ore, crystal, and sulfur. Sulfur, you don't need because the only thing it makes is ammo. And you would probably want to buy the ammo from the merchant. So you don't really need to farm sulfur or gunpowder or whatever. And the only other one is crystal. And crystal, you just don't need a lot of, to be honest. It's only used in a very handful of things. I would, again, just go ahead and farm it. I have, like, you know, well, I don't have any yet. But, you know, once I grind a little bit and get some, I'm not going to need a whole lot. So coal and ore, that's really all that's left, and lo and behold, there is a WhatsApp message for me. This base has it all, it has both, and ore is useful for multiple things, you can obviously use it for ore, but if you break it down into nails, you can sell them, and you get money, and with that money you can get anything, pal oil, you name it. So essentially, if you're farming ore, you're farming gold and if you're farming gold you're farming everything that can be bought with gold which also includes later ammo so this is the greatest base because it has all of that and it's immune to raids which is automatically a big plus in my book so yeah we're up here we've got a few dig toys is we got a few time time bot bats rolling tom tom somethings tam somethings but anyway the reason that we're up here is we're trying to Build the base now. We got to build a few of the different parts. We also just happened to unlock a few things. We I think we just used a couple of skill points. So things like the grappling gun. I would love to ch try out. We have the fine bed now. So we're going to go ahead and get that rolling. I think we have actually one of the best things. Um, do you guys know like the certain placeable objects that give you a buff? Well, I think there is one for mining. So I think we're going to go ahead and try to get that rolling too. But yeah, let's have our homie help us build this fine bed. I'm not actually sure what the fine bed does. I don't know if it's just it looks fancier or if it actually, like, helps me in any way. But, you know, if it's an option to use it, oh, well, by golly, we're going to go ahead and use it. It's taking a, li a, li a little bit of time to build here. Maybe I should have had... Bro, okay, I am muting this chat. My bad. You chat for eight hours. That sounds good to me. All right, there we go. Completed. Let's go ahead and sleep for the first time. Psych, there's someone else on the server, so I can't sleep. But, fine bed. There we go. What else can we use? What else? Um. Yes, the pickaxe The pickaxe and helmet over there. But what else? Hmm, okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and just continue building up our base later. There's one big thing that I want to do after we kind of finish up on our base there's one certain pal that i know is the best runner in the game and you can get it now basically around level 20 you get it even before if you're good enough but we're gonna go ahead and grab it i'm not gonna say the name i'm not gonna spoil it but um yeah it should be pretty gangster once we do get our hands on it but yeah let's keep working on our base a little bit let's keep laying a couple of foundations just to make room for some other things We'll probably have to get rid of some things, probably get rid of a few trees and stuff, but... Yeah, let's go ahead and build out this edge of the island. It's a little bit out of the blue zone, which sucks. But, oh, oops, I need to step back. Yeah, when you step out of the blue zone and then you see zero stone... I don't know about you guys, but I tend to have like just like a minor heart attack. Like, where did all my stone go? But... Step back into the blue line, but yeah, dude it, every single time it gives me like a minor heart attack Especially happens with things like iron imagine you farm a thousand iron you step out of the blue line You don't notice and like it's all just gone 
in that moment I would just alt F4 and then never play this game again, but all right. The production assembly line. This thing is big. So that's why we had to make a little bit of room here. It's a little too big. I still what's like the I should probably make it parallel with like the mill and stuff, right? The crusher. So I think this way would probably be our best bet. Yeah, it's pretty big though. I hope the pals don't get like stuck trying to get to it or stuck working on it. We'll see though. I will right, we'll let the homies build it. So there we go. We got our first production line. So I don't really know how this thing works. I mean, I'm assuming it works just like a bench, right? So you make it, make something, and then pals can come by. I just don't know if like multiple pals can work on it or what's the deal with it. But or maybe is it just like an upgrade where we can just utilize it to make stuff that you know, like the other bench couldn't. I'm not sure, but. This will be a big part of our game from here on out because there's the sphere production, the weapon production, and then there's just like the normal production. Yes, yeah, so you can see here is the sphere assembly line. We're also going to place that over here somewhere. The only problem is we don't have much room. We might have to stick it behind the ranch. That's the only place that I see. I could place it, of course, somewhere on the hill, but it looks really awkward. And I don't know if I'm okie dokie with that. Let's just keep looking around to maybe see where we can place it, but I think behind the ranch here is probably going to be our best bet. And once again, I'll just have to hope that the pals don't get stuck back here, but I mean, even everything we're building, it doesn't it doesn't mean that it's like completely permanent, right? We can still move stuff at a later date. You know what? Why don't we add a I see there's a bit of there's a bit of grass. We could potentially just have it build a couple more foundations and see if we can give it a little bit more room just in case they do get stuck. I think that might be a better idea here. Alright. And, yeah, I I don't know if, like, if it's out of the blue line, if that actually causes me any trouble. But I'm also inside of it, so whenever this gets built, I'm getting sliced in half. Which will just put me out of my misery, which is also cool. Two for one, but... Alright, there we go. Sphere. Assembly. So now we've unlocked the Hypersphere, right? Let's go ahead and instantly make 95 of those. We're, we're gonna want to get these Hyperspheres rolling. The other spheres have served us well, but requires handiwork, not enough electricity. Oh. I know what we need. Um... We need to make some electricity. I don't know why I said that. Like That was like some revelation. Like, yeah. Yeah, doofus. Come on, man. I know there's like a building thing. Like the the metal rod. Where we can have like electrical Pokemon pals zapping it up. Alright, let's go ahead and grab all of these. Let's see. The power generator. Yes, this is what I was talking about with needing electricity. N so this just needs to be available for the electric pal so i don't know where to put it i guess somewhere where it's easily accessible right so probably at somewhere on the hill or maybe like right off of the crafting stations maybe maybe by the breeding area i don't really let's see which place looks the best yeah see like over here near the breeding kind of looks nice it's out in the open it's on, it's somewhere flat the electric pal won't have to you know become a track star to get to it so let's go ahead and build it here oh, let me get some water while i'm at it okay it's gonna take another minute man anubis in the background come here bro why aren't you helping out all right at least we got our homies robin quill and the monkey and the Ping King helping out. Dig Toys over there doing what he does best. I was playing a Beyblade. Honestly, I would love to be a Beyblade. I don't know about you guys. If I could be reborn as anything, it would 100% be a Beyblade. I could just spin all day. Sounds like fun. Alright. Let's go ahead. Should probably get an electric po pal Pokemon thing, right? I don't what about the what about the big homie? 
Yeah, the Mosanda Lux. You guys think he'll do a th do the thing? I'm trying to look at his stats here. He, he, the only problem with the Lux is that he does so many things. I'm scared he'll accidentally do something else and not provide energy, but it looks like he's doing it. His animation for that is oddly sexual, but you know what? As long as he's producing electricity, I can't say I care how he's producing it as long as there's electricity there, you know? So, hey, this is a no-judgment zone, just like Planet Fitness or something. There's actually a few things I can make, though. The Van Worm saddle. We've been riding the Night Nightwing basically this whole time. It's probably high time we start riding some other things. I've been kind of stubborn and not wanting to ride other things, but I think it's probably time. And there's a lot of good options coming up for us, including the, va the Van Worm itself. Oh, man, it's taking forever. Okay. All right. Done. Bang. You love to see it. Let's go ahead and grab a Van Worm and see if it's much better compared to our Nightwing. I'm going to assume that it is, right? I'm going to assume that it is. Let's grab some other things. Um, I should probably grab something for running too, but I'm looking for the Van Worm first. Do I have a decent one? Level 1, level 1... Are there any bigger ones? I don't know if level dictates how fast they go, but just in case, level 19, 17. Okay, screw it. Let's just grab the level 19 for now. 13. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see how fast it is. Oh, compared to the night room. Okay, that is faster. Definitely faster. Go. Why is the up button weird? Did they change it? Okay. I think I got it. Okay. Like, we're not, you know, we're not Sonic here. We're not Lightning McQueen, but it's good. You know, it's better than Nightwing. We'll take it. Let's go see if we can sleep. There might be someone else on the server, but let's just give it a whirl here. There we go. Nice. Okay, everybody so we're in the wild i want to catch this crusher right here it's by far one of the most unique npcs aside from like the black marketeer and stuff it's just big and it's cool and you can catch it so that oh wow that hurt me all right we need to not let it do something like that again because that hurt it's a surprisingly hard catch even with like my giga spheres here the giga chat spheres we're still struggling with it. 10%? Like, this thing is massive. Yeah. Hey, relax the source. You wanna chill? Oh, no. Dude, don't tell me the relax the source is. Hmm. Yo, relax, bro. Relax. No. Yeah. Oh, that sucks for us. Dude, no way I'm trying to catch the crusher and that goofball got involved. Alright. Well, we'll just have to head back then. That's fine. But that sucks quite a bit, actually. All right. Grab the Van Worm. Head back to the teleporter. I'm hoping the Crusher homie is still there because I still don't want to catch him. All right, let's grab another yeah. Van Worm that we just had in our box. Yeah, I think I'll miss my Nightwing a little bit. I'll miss it, but... Yeah, I don't know. This going a little faster is nice. And I know there's things that can go even more fast. Which I'm very excited for, but. Alright, let's grab our stuff. And then it seems like the Crusher is still chilling and he's still low. So let's go ahead and try to continue capturing him here. Then once we go after him, there's one more thing that I want to catch this video. 100%. And I'm not going to spoil it just yet. But it is... An absolutely nasty fast pal. Two at once, two at once. Ayo, look at that. Syndicate Crusher along with another pal. The dinosaur guy is still after me for some reason. I I don't know why you're named Relaxosaurus if you're 
That is the most violent pal that I've encountered so far. I'm not even attacking him. I'm not even dealing with him. And he's still trying to mess my day up. So, just putting that out there. Alright, what do we got? Some land balls. Sadly, I don't really need any more of those. It's supposed to be in a cave. I just, I don't really know where this cave starts. Also, these guys are trash and one shot kills you. You need to get better helmets. Bro, this is... Actually, we do have the handgun now. Yeah. Did I spoil it? So there's something on the map very close to us. That is an actual track star. But we're looking for a cave. It's gotta be in this ravine over here. Yeah, I swear, like... You guys remember how we went into a mine shaft earlier? Yeah, yeah, it's another mine shaft. Okay, it has to be in here. Do I have my torch with me? Please tell me I brought my torch. Or wait, actually, I actually do. I think I have the light now. I have the lamp. Remember when we made the lamp and I said it's going to be useful for caves? And we never thought about it again until this very moment. That's why that lamp is so amazing. But yeah, enough s s s mystery here. The Fangalope, right? Fangalope? Fangalope? This thing. This amazing, beautiful, beautiful creature. At only level 25. And you might be wondering, why is yeah. this, you know, the best pal runner in the game so low in level? I couldn't tell you, bro, but this thing is absolutely wild. And as much as Dire Howl might be, like, one of my favorite pals currently, it actually has nothing compared to this Fangalope. So I'm pretty excited to hop on it. The videos that I've seen for it is like you're basically just yeah. no clipping, you know, slash no clipping, just flying. So I, just, I don't know. It's kind of tough though. I I thought it'd be a little easier than this, but it's kind of messing me up right now. I mean, it doesn't help that we're in a cave, but it also helps that with that I got it glitched. I mean, shoot, if Fangalope was cool with this, Fangalope, Fangalope, I keep saying Fangalope, it's Fangalope, right? Fangalope? Alright, low enough. Oh, a 20, I, yeah. honestly, I was kind of playing games and almost won a stupid prize right there. I'm still getting, are you in the, ce I can still catch it in the ceiling. That's, oh, oh, oh. Yoink. In past ages, this beautiful visage is a common sight in paintings its beautiful pelt and antlers were often seen in works of art all right first feng lope captured now sadly i can't just jump right on and you know yeah speed i i have to make it saddle first just like with every other thing so let's go ahead and try to make it saddle let's head back to the base yeah i'm I'm really sad to say that Dire Howl was getting replaced here. He's been good to us for many, many videos. But I think it oh, it might be time. It might be time. Right. Pal working station. We also need to unlock it. It was probably one of those that was like the question mark because we haven't caught it. But yeah, there we go. There we go. There's the Fenglope saddle. Bing bonk first i think that's our first purple now this is gonna take another minute yeah without an anubis helping me it's gonna take forever so water time all right there we go fenglope saddle all done let's uh let's give it a whirl and it is the boss version 2 which is kind of nice put the crusher away we're not gonna really need him all right, first test run on the low. Look at this, bro. Bro, look how fast. And it can jump. But here's the crazy part. It can double jump. Look at this, bro. Can double jump while mounted. So not only is he speed. One jump. Two jump. You don't take fall damage. Because this guy's an absolute unit. Yeah, this thing is just revolutionary. Now imagine if we got one with like something like Swift or, you know, 
if we got a lucky one or something. There's a couple of, you know, attributes you can put on it to make it even faster. Look, my game's even lagging. I'm going so fast, the map doesn't even have time to load in. That's how speed we are right now. That double jump will get you basically over anything. You can climb up mountains with this bad boy. Yeah, this thing's great. Alright. Up on the mountain. Let's try to catch this Wixen. This thing destroyed us earlier. But now it's a little... Uh, it's time for revenge. Yeah. It's time for a little revenge. Yeah. Alright, one more bullet. Oh! Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, those things are spicy. Think. Ooh, I have to not let it do that. It, it, it will burn me alive. Alright, you're mine, kid. Yoink! Wixen, yeah, th this thing absolutely demolished me earlier in the game, and to be fair, it almost demolished me this time, too. I'm at 300 HP. Just a little bit more fire damage, and I would have been probably cooked. Yo, this has got to be the biggest pile of any f pile that I've ever seen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8? There's almost 8 of them, and... Dude, that's some juicy XP. But imagine if 1 can kill me. Imagine eight, dude. I'd be getting fireballs up the butt cheek. So honestly, I'm probably good on that. Let's head back to the base. And let's, I guess let's keep just doing some things around the base. Let's grab the boar. Probably gather a little bit of sulfur while we're, while we're at it. That could be fun. Look at our power. It's at 100. Cement. We're getting there. We're getting there. Ball 17 hyperspheres. Alright. Slowly but surely. Let's yoink those out. We can actually use them. Crusher's doing its thing. Got some ore going. What more can you ask for? Bushi. It's gotta be like the funnest name to say. Bushi. It's an absolute goat name. I love it. Okay. Back to the mountains. I have a lot. A lot of sulfur on us. Maybe a little too much to carry. But, look at this. A pyron. That is new. I'm hoping I don't get diced up. Let's try to get a headshot here. Hmm. We're doing a good amount of damage. We might not even need to involve the lope into here. Yeah, looks like we're good. There we go. All right, another new pal, the Pyron. And I also, th I think there's a night version of this too. But for now, let's just head back to the base. The entire body is something efficiently. Cool. All right, back to the base we go with a little bit of sulfur. Make some gunpowder. Okay, well, we've done a lot of things in this area now, but I think I want to go ahead and just give the boss a try. I, I fully expect to n absolutely get wiped. Like, he'll actually, like, beat my cheeks, but I'm going to have to give it a try, right? I want to see this animation and stuff. Dude, I don't know why these animations are actually, like, just like... These animations are bangers, like straight out. These are what Pokemon animations for like gym leaders should be. These things are so cool. Look at that, dude. Electric Garchomp, you love to see it. All right, Axel and Orzark. Oh, I can't wait to get my hands on one of those. Now oh, that's an electric. Is that 130,000? Bro, that's like the price of a one apartment like a, a one apartment one room apartment nowadays yeah i don't know man i can't get an apartment i don't think i can get one of these i, can, I don't think i can beat this guy either i'm just gonna be honest we're, i mean we're gonna try i'll throw a couple of bullets your way but i honestly i might just be wasting my bullets if i do it yeah we've only gotten it down a thousand look i'm gonna be a hundred percent with you i could do this right 
but oh it's gonna take some absolutely nasty dodging on my end and yeah there goes my lunaris and i would need six really good pals which i have good pals but honestly i'm just gonna give up this is not gonna happen i'm gonna wipe every single one of my pals before i get a chance to beat this guy so let's go and just let's head on out of here like that ammo is fairly precious actually there's really no reason for me to just outright waste it just pump 500 bullets into this guy and then just lose for nothing so yeah okay hey look we got the experience we gave it a try we kind of know what his hp level is so when we feel like we're confident enough to do it again you know we'll come back oh the only sucky thing is it's kind of hot here hopefully we don't get burnt chicken nugget before we get all of our stuff this is going to Florida right now. Alright, let's grab our stuff. Let's get out of here. We gave it a whirl. And I think I'm also going to go ahead and end off the video here. See you guys next time.